Hey there, Eggheads, how are you? Ken in here with New Egg Now, where we bring you the coolest stuff at the most affordable prices. In this segment, we're going to look at the Deluxe M700 Ultralight Gaming Mouse, which really excites me. I always say that a gaming mouse is one of the most important components for a gaming system because it's the one thing that translates your actual decisions into the game. When you're navigating, attacking, aiming, etc., precision and accuracy are crucial. And even if your ping is one, a bad mouse will lead you astray. You need good resolution, ergonomic design, and something that's comfortable. So, let's take a look. There's a nice handy flap in the front. Shows us the M700 right away. Let's take it out though. Let's take it out of the box. Underneath the mouse is gonna be an instruction manual, but who are we kidding? We don't need instructions for a mouse. All right, let me clean up my desk just a tiny bit here. Want it to be neat for all of you. Okay, check this out. Notice the honeycomb shell design. All right, this is an emerging trend in the gaming market. It cuts out unnecessary material and therefore contributes to the extremely light weight of the mouse. This weighs in at just 67 grams. Most standard mice weigh at least 100 grams. The popular Logitech G502 gaming mouse weighs 120 grams. So this is between a third and close to half as light as many other mice out there. This is going to increase maneuverability, making it easier to aim. You've got seven programmable buttons, all right, obviously the left and right click. You got the scroll wheel. You have the forward and back key. All right, that's important. You got the forward and back key and also DPI plus and DPI minus. It's ergonomically shaped. Okay, ergonomically shaped, so the buttons are falling right where they need to, but it's not a large mouse, so it doesn't have an extra nook for the pinky. There's a soft shoelace style cable, giving you more flexibility and durability. And if you notice on the bottom, do you know what these are? Those are Teflon non-stick pads, further adding to your stability and control. That's going to wear extremely efficiently over time, giving you a lot of mileage for your buck. On the bottom, we have our high precision sensor. You get up to 16,000 DPI with this baby. Using the DPI control buttons, you can toggle between 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, and 16,000. The sensor has up to 50 G's acceleration, 400 IPS, that's inches per second, and a 1,000 Hertz refresh rate. To be honest, for FPS gaming, you probably don't want your DPI set too high, because even slight movements at 4,000 plus DPI will make your gun or whatever fling around like crazy. If you want it super sensitive, it's good to know that you have the option here. But a lot of pro gamers will probably opt for a mouse that's light, ergonomic, smooth, just like this one, and maintain one of those lower DPI settings for extra precision. Let me plug it in here. When we plug it in, bam, there we go. We notice. The RGB lighting effects, all right? You can use the software to customize between nine different settings, and the scroll wheel in the middle, by default, will have a specific color assigned to each DPI setting. So right now it's blue. If I went DPI plus, it's purple, green, see that? So I'm changing the DPI, and there's a different setting uh, of color for each different DPI setting. So that's basically it, folks. We've got a gorgeous mouse with a top quality sensor, honeycomb design for ultra lightweight, smooth control. It's got Teflon pads, shoelace style cable for durability, seven programmable buttons, nine different color modes, DPI from 1,000 all the way up to 16,000. Drivers are compatible with Windows 7, 8, and 10. For more info about specific prices, check the description or click the link below. Thanks for letting me share this one with you. This has been New Egg Now, and now you know. What's up, Eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, delivering the best products for the best prices. In this one, we're looking at portable storage, specifically the King Dian P10 Portable SSD. This is the traveling case right here. Something in between a hard shell and a mesh. A little hard to squeeze, which is good. It's not gonna be easy to break. Let's open it up and look at the drive itself. Okay, sweet, check that out. Here's the drive itself. Let me get my phone for comparison. This is gonna be important. It's got the same width, all right, the same width as my iPhone 11, and it's about, it's about a quarter the size 
Hope you see that, it's about a quarter the size. So this is very portable, super easy to travel with. It's got a smooth metallic feel. It's really about the size of, of a pack of gum. All right, it's gonna give you up to 300 megabytes uh, per second. It's USB 3.0 compatible. Comes with a cable, let me show you that. Comes with a cable and a type C adapter. Okay, so that's gonna allow it to connect to PCs, Macs, Android devices, smartphones, smart TVs, and game consoles. It uses an extremely low amount of power, it stays quiet, and it's shockproof. So it's gonna be able to weather a few falls, but please don't purposely throw it off any buildings. With the King Dian P10 SSD, you're gonna get 250 gigabytes of capacity, so it's gonna be able to store plenty of movies, songs, and files, and that's pretty much it, guys. The heat dissipation, the shockproof nature, the metallic case on the drive, and the strong carrying case all pretty much say one thing. King Dian cares about your data, and they've produced a truly delightful, secure, and very tiny SSD to prove it. For exact prices, Please click the link or check the description below. This has been New Egg Now, and now you know. Hey there, Eggheads, what's up? Kenan here with New Egg Now, where we bring you the best products for the best prices. I'll be showing you the Sades Wing 10 gaming earphones in this one. I seldom come across gaming earphones, usually, it's gaming headsets, so I'm pretty excited. Let's check it out. First, the boring part, what's in the box. All right, you've got the headphones themselves, of course. You've got a carrying pouch. Let me show you the inside of that. All right, carrying pouch. You're gonna get a sticker, a manual, a warranty card. You are going to get three extra ear tips, small, medium, and large. The earbuds themselves boast a stylish metallic design. Okay, the left and right indicator are right behind the bud. Uh, it's a little hard to see at first, but once you know where it is, you're fine. They've got magnetic attraction to one another. Check this out. All right, let me get a close up of that. Bam, that's pretty awesome. All right, this is gonna be super convenient. The magnetic attraction is gonna be your greatest defense against tangling. Okay, and the more important question, obviously, how do they sound? Well, I can say this in full truth. They truly deliver an impressive and balanced sound quality, which should be great for gaming. Okay, I ran an audio test myself on audiocheck.net and found it emits bass down at 20 hertz and has a treble extension up to 16 kilohertz. In testing the dynamic range, I was able to hear a voiceover at 70 decibels below full scale, and I didn't notice any rattling with strong bass sounds. The binaural testing revealed proper left and right sound placement and they also sounded great just listening to music. So I give these a pretty high quality, uh, or sorry, a pretty high score in sound quality. As we move down the line, okay, where is that? Oh, right, right here. Okay, as we move down the line, we have an inline remote control right here. It's about uh, this far away from the earbud. Inline remote control, that's going to allow you to answer or end calls, play or pause music, or cycle through tracks with just one button. That's right there, maybe get a close up of that, just one button. There's also a built-in microphone in this remote control. I did run an audio test using Audacity and noticed that it's unavoidable. You do get some background noise simply because the microphone is a bit far from your mouth and it's not a directional mic. All right, so this mic will still be convenient for mobile gaming or while you're traveling or you know making on-the-go calls. Uh, on the end of the line, we've got the 3.5 millimeter gold-plated connector. Uh, apart from plugging it into your computer's sound card, the Wings 10 are specifically designed for PS4 Pro and PS4 controllers with the 3.5 millimeter jack. They're also compatible with Xbox One, Xbox One S, Nintendo Switch, Mac, and VR devices, and great for mobile gaming. Well, that's basically it. So the main question is, why would you choose these over a gaming headset? Well, LAN tournaments require that players wear earbuds. So for one, it lets professionals or those who might want to compete in the future get used to the feeling. Apart from that, desktop gaming at home might have better sound quality with a gaming headset. But if you want to prepare for the feeling of a pro tournament, or if you do any mobile gaming at all, or console gaming, PS4, Xbox, everything I mentioned before, 
If you need something on the go for calls or music, these will be much more suitable. They come with that convenient carrying pouch, right? They've got the inline controller. They have magnetic attraction to help with storage and avoid tangling. They feel comfortable in the ear, you know? And most importantly, they sound very good, right? So the Sades Wings 10 gaming earphones. For specific prices, please check the description or click the link below. This has been New Egg Now. And now you know. Hey there, Eggheads. How are you? Ken in here with New Egg Now, where we bring you the best products for the best prices. In this one, we are looking at an awesome way to store and share memories. The Dragon Touch Classic 10 Digital Picture Frame. All right, now you can hang thousands of photos on the wall in just one frame. Let's check it out. First, it is packaged exquisitely, I must say. It's got that classic red ribbon around it. I feel like I'm gonna open a premium gift. So here we go, opening the box. And as we see right when we get it open, it is packaged meticulously. All right, inside the box, we're gonna have our 10.1 inch touchscreen photo frame, a stand, power adapter, power cable, USB cable, and instruction manual. The frame is nice and secure within the styrofoam slips. Uh, it looks just gorgeous. So let me take it out. I'm gonna attach the stand and uh, we'll see what we're working with. All right, so this is the stand, believe it or not. It's as simple as that. All I do is twist it into the back of the frame like so. Okay, already installed and look. Look how nice this looks on a desk. And you can place it any way you like, either like this in landscape mode or portrait mode. You can also hang it on the wall because there is a wall mount on the back. This classic design makes it nice for the office or any living room space decoration. Dragon Touch has given us total freedom here, 100% customizable landscape portrait hanging on the wall. Now let's dive a bit deeper into the features of the frame itself. The advanced 10.1 inch FHD IPS screen gives you 1920 by 1200 resolution. This way, your precious memories can reappear with perfect quality and clarity. There's 16 gigabytes of memory in here, so you'll have enough storage for years of photos. We estimate you can store over 40,000 photos in this one frame. That's at about 300 kilobytes per photo. Extended SD card and USB drive provide you more options as well for file storage and management. Let me click on my photos here so you can see what it looks like in slideshow mode. All right, I'm gonna open slideshow. Bam, all right, these are fun. Notice how the quality is extremely good. All right, I took high definition photos and nothing is lost. Again, it's an HD screen with high resolution. I sent these photos to the frame over Wi-Fi on my phone. All right, this frame connects to the internet and I sent my photos to the frame through their application called Our Photo. All right, there's me in Malta, that's pretty cool. So uh, I'm gonna actually do this right now. I'm gonna take a selfie right here in the studio and I'm gonna send it to the frame. All right, so we'll see just how long this process takes, okay? I'm opening up my camera. I'm gonna take a selfie. There we go, smile over the camera. All right, I've taken my selfie. I'm going to open up the Our Photo app. It looks like this. Okay, I'm gonna choose media photo. I'm choosing my selfie. Full image, of course. You wanna select the full image so it sends the high definition image to the frame. Now I'm gonna send it off to the device. Let's watch how quickly this goes. All right, uh, we're, we're just gonna do this in real time. It might make the video a little longer, but I want you to see just how cool this is. All right, so the photo has been sent. So now I can go to the home screen. I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna click home. And let's see, it already shows that a photo has been received. It says a photo right there. And look at that. That is the selfie I just took about 30 seconds ago. Now, why is this so great? This remote instant sharing means your possibilities are endless. You can be away from home at the pyramids of Egypt and share the selfie directly to your living room. What a great surprise. You know, say hi to the kids, send an I love you photo to mom and dad straight to their picture frame. And one frame can have multiple users. That means you and a group of friends 
could have a dedicated picture frame just for each other. You can all add photos whenever you want from wherever you are. Family members who live far away can send pictures straight to the frame. All you do, I will walk you through that process. Oh, this was the first dog in space. That was taken in Russia. I think that name is, she's called Laika. That's her actual body, okay? I'm gonna show you adding multiple users, okay? We go to home, settings, and user management. All right, home settings, user management, and you can accept new users. New users are added through the Our Photo app. Okay, there's also a video option. One moment. Clicking home, and I will go to video. I've placed a short video on here. That's great, this is in the center of Malta. All right, you can share video clips up to 30 seconds within the frame. All right, so Dragon Touch is giving us so many ways to relive memories in a more lively fashion. There's also, there's so many options here. Okay, there's a weather tab, there's a calendar, alarm, and more options to customize the frame, such as within the album settings. Okay, you can go to album settings. Uh, you know, there's, there's slideshow mode, the different intervals, change the time in between each picture, transition effects between each picture, system settings like display, brightness, time, language. You know, I've gotta say, this digital picture frame, one moment, this digital picture frame uh, is really much cooler than I initially expected. You know, our phones take such great pictures, but they look so much more lively in a frame. And this puts them all in a frame. Digital, high definition, 1920 by 1200 res. The fact that you can upload to the frame via email, computer, or Wi-Fi from far away makes this even more awesome. It can store tens of thousands of photos. It can play videos. It's touch screen so anyone can use it. It's super easy to use. It looks good on a desk, landscape, or portrait. You can hang it on a wall. Multiple users can be added so your friends or family can send fun photos or videos. I believe Dragon Touch's digital picture frame can help you reconnect with your memories and to, and to connect with your family and friends in new magical ways. For specific pricing, please check the description or click the link below. This has been Newegg Now, and now you know. Hey there, Eggheads, how are you? Kenan here, one of your hosts for Newegg Now, bringing you the best products for the best prices. In this one, we are looking at the Vantrue N2 Pro dash cam. Why do we need a dash cam? Well, obviously everyone here at Newegg wishes that no one gets into a car accident, but if it happens, having the footage will save so many headaches. It's a great insurance policy. You know, if there's ever a hit and run or if someone changes their story with the insurance company about what happened, you can arm yourself with the truth and make sure no one takes advantage of you in a situation that's already hard enough. All right, this dash cam is really awesome and it's got a lot of features, all right? So let's dive right in. First things first, the unpackaging. All right, inside the box, you're gonna get a quick start guide, user manual, warranty card, a car charger with a mini built-in USB cable, a three foot USB data cable, and the suction cup mount for the windshield. And of course, the Vantrue N2 Pro dash cam itself, all right? One of the best things about this dash cam is the dual facing camera. All right, so here is, of course, the front-facing camera. This is gonna point out on the street. And here is the cabin-facing camera, right here. All right, and it can also rotate. Check that out. The, the rear-facing camera can rotate. So depending on the height of the driver, you can make your adjustments accordingly. All right, so we're able to simultaneously record what's happening in front of the car and what's happening inside the cabin. The dual recording gives you 1920 by 1080p at 30 frames per second. That's 1080p in both directions at the same time. All right, if you record just out the front, you can get up to 2.5K at 30 FPS, or you can even do 1080p at 60 FPS. So you get nearly 360 degree protection. All right, the front facing camera is a 170 degree angle lens. The rear facing one is a 140 degree lens and rotatable by 80 degrees. All right, so in just one camera body, the N2 Pro captures front and back in wide angle 
and the in-picture display on the screen actually shows both front and rear camera footage simultaneously. Let me power this up with a USB connection so we can see that in action. So as you can see, we are able to see what is happening in the front and back simultaneously. Both are in 1080p. The rear facing camera is showing right now in the upper left and the rest from the front facing camera is showing on the right. So you get full protection on the go. And if you're a taxi driver or rideshare driver, this rear facing camera can help you stay at ease knowing that all activity in the cabin is on camera. If you ever have a troublesome client, it can be useful to have the evidence you need to support your business. All right, the Vantrue N2 Pro also has super night vision because you've got an f1.8 six glass lens in the front facing cam with the unique HDR video system that automatically balances light and dark areas of the video. While you've also got an f2.0 six glass lens for the rear facing cam plus four infrared LED lights, greatly enhancing night vision in the car in low light, making you drive much safer at night. All right, right now, I'm gonna turn the lights off and show you what the night vision looks like. All right, everyone, check this out. So I have turned off the lights in my studio. I have blacked out the windows. And as you can see on this screen, I can still see everything really, really clear as day. All right, check that out. So that is awesome. All right, now I have my lights back on. That was very difficult. I truly blacked out all my windows. Uh, but it's good to know that the camera will see adequately in the dark, all right? And these infrared lights can be set to on, auto on or off, or just off. If you have it set to auto, that means that when low light conditions are detected, the infrared LEDs will automatically turn on to support rear image recording, offering you and passengers a higher level of in-car safety. All right, this is especially useful for taxi drivers or rideshare drivers, I think. Now, if you're in the city shuttling clients around after they drink or as people are partying, that's typically when the unruliest of clientele can appear. All right, so it's really good to know that this works well in low light. Uh, just a side note, by the way, footage recorded with infrared LED will be a bit of a purple tint in the daytime and be at grayscale at night. Now with this dash cam, you also get audio recording as well. There's a built-in mic and speaker to capture high quality audio without distortion. If you don't want to record voice, you can turn the microphone off. All right, this can be accessed in the menu. I'll show you that here. You access the menu by pressing this M button here. All right, we press the M button. And then we can go to record setup. We can hit OK. I toggled down to audio recording, hit OK and I can turn that right off, okay? All right, some of the primary features on the dash cam, there's loop recording. So the camera will start up and begin recording automatically when you turn the ignition. Loop recording saves space, all right? So if you have it set to three minutes, for example, it will record three minutes and then overwrite what was just recorded. It supports a micro SD card up to 256 gigabytes. Uh, there is a critical event G sensor, otherwise known as a gravity sensor. All right, so it's gonna sense if there has been a collision and protect the current video from being overwritten. You can set the G sensor to be activated either at low, medium, or high impact. It's set to medium by default. There's also a parking monitor. The dash cam will enter parking mode when there hasn't been motion detected in the front camera for five minutes. However, for parking mode, you need a constant power supply either from an external battery pack or by hard wiring it. But this is a fantastic feature because we all know that a lot of accidents happen while you're not even in your car. Sometimes people can bump into the car and just drive away. With this, you'll catch them. Some other secondary functions are, for instance, the time lapse. It'll automatically take photos at specified intervals and then edit them together into a video clip so they'll play much faster in real time. This could be a really cool added bonus for something like a family road trip. You could set it to take a photo every once in a while and then in the end, have a really cool time lapse video of the whole journey. You've also got optional GPS for you to track the driving route, location, and speed. To use the GPS function, please buy an extra N2 Pro GPS mount. There's also the date and timestamp for the video, which is especially useful if you need to use your video 
for uh, some sort of evidence. Pro tip, ensure that the date and time are accurate when you install the camera. All right, so a few words of advice with this. There's no HDMI output. Uh, also, before using the dash cam, please format your SD card in the camera. You're gonna wanna check the user manual to learn how to use the different modes and functions, and please always keep the dash cam plugged in or it's gonna keep telling you to connect power. Uh, if you drive multiple vehicles, you may consider buying an extra windshield mount. You know, this way, you'll have the mount and the wiring set up in all of your cars, and you'll just have to unplug and replug the dash cam into whichever car you're driving. All right, that was a lot, but it was super rewarding. A high definition dash cam with front and rear facing camera, 1080p simultaneous video in both directions, day or night, a G-force sensor to automatically detect an accident and keep your video safe, motion detector that turns on parking mode automatically, audio recording for inside the cabin, use it in almost all weather conditions, negative four to 158 Fahrenheit. Most importantly, give yourself and your passengers a sense of security and simply enjoy the drive. For specific prices, please check the description or click the link below. Thanks everyone, I'm Kenan, this has been Newegg Now, and now you know. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with Newegg Now, bringing you the latest tech for the lowest prices. In this segment, we're checking out the EasyTone T95 Android TV box with mini keyboard. All right, this is the set right here. In this box, we have the wireless mini keyboard, and in this box, we have the TV box. Now, let's unbox. I'm feeling boxed in with my word choices right now. Okay, inside the box, we've got the unit itself. All right, and underneath, we are going to get the power cable, the HDMI cord, USB cord, and remote. Awesome. Let me clean up the desk a little for everybody. Okay, great. All right, the beautiful EasyTone T95 Android TV box. It's handsome and tiny. I'll show you how it compares in size with my iPhone 11. I'm always comparing things to my phone here, but that's okay. We all have a phone, so everyone can have an idea of just how nice and compact that is. All right, there we go. As far as ports go, we've got power, HDMI, Ethernet, and AV. That's power, HDMI, Ethernet, and AV. And on this side, there are two USB ports and a slot for a TF memory card. The TV box adopts the latest Android 10 system, which means it's gonna run faster and stronger than other TV boxes, bringing you a seamless viewing experience. It has four gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of ROM, which is great capacity, but you can expand that with that TF card, add up to 128 gigs, or attach up to a two terabyte external hard drive. All right, you can download tons of applications, store more movies and files than you ever could before. You shouldn't have to worry about running out of space. You're gonna get dual band, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz Wi-Fi support, plus the new and improved Bluetooth 5 technology. And you're gonna get up to 6K Ultimate HD video on here, up to 6K. All right, so just a word of caution, the only complaint with this is that real life may not look as good after you watch movies with this thing. All right, let's check out the keyboard. Here we are, the three-in-one multifunction wireless keyboard. It's three-in-one because it has mouse plus touchpad capability. One moment. All right, three-in-one because it has mouse plus touchpad function. RF 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection. You're gonna enjoy up to 10 meters or 30 feet of operating distance. Let me turn it on here. Okay, great, nice and pretty. As you can see, it's now backlit with blue, but you can also set it to red, green, or off. It's got 92 keys, a sensitive touchpad for easy and accurate manipulation, which will also match different screen sizes. All right, it comes with a lithium battery. All right, it comes with a lithium battery and also has auto sleep and auto wake for saving energy. And it could not be more plug and play. You're probably wondering what this is. All right, there's no need to install special software as this is a USB receiver in the back of the keyboard. All right, all you're gonna need to do 
is plug that in to the side of the box just like that and then you're ready to go. All right, so once you are connected to your Android box with a keyboard, you just go ahead and use it effortlessly to input text, browse the internet, and play games, all right? Make searching more convenient. You know, let entertaining be entertaining, all right? This has been the EasyTone T95 Android TV box with wireless keyboard. For specific pricing, please check the description or click the link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know.